What is up my creative fellas? Welcome back to another tutorial. Today's tutorial is gonna be short because I'm only going to show you how to export stuff for Instagram. I know a lot of you guys have this struggle. You don't know how to export images for Instagram because when you upload your images onto the platform, they are blurry, they are just low quality, and they don't look as sharp as they should. So today, I will be showing you how to export properly for Instagram so that your images will look best on your page. All right, here I've got my composition done. I've done my color grade. I'm just at the end of my composite and I just wanna export it. So to get your images ready for export, go to window and down to history. And then click on this little uh, document icon with a plus on it and it will create an exact duplicate of the document that you had already opened. So now you have two of the same document. I do this for just uh, some backup purposes. And then after this, what you wanna do is that you wanna go to layer and down to flatten image. If it asks you to discard hidden layers, just hit okay. It will merge all the layers into one single background layer. After that, go to image and choose image size. Here is the trick. You wanna set the bigger number to 1410. If you have a vertical image, change the height to 1410 just like i do here but if you have a horizontal image you are going to change the width to 1410 so basically the rule is to change the bigger dimension to 1410 pixels if you don't see the same exact numbers that is probably because you have not cropped your image with the proper ratio so always crop your images by 4 by 5 aspect ratio since it's the best for instagram after you have cropped your image and changed the size, what you want to do is to duplicate your background, go to filter, other, high pass, and give it about a 0.5 pixels of high pass filter. Do not go overboard with this, you might mess up the image. I think 0.5 is just a sweet spot for this filter and then change the blend mode to overlay. What this does is that it adds a little bit of sharpening to the image since we reduced the size we made it a little dull so we need to sharpen it up again. Now the final step is to go to file export export as and inside of this dialog box the only thing you need to change is the resample option set it to preserve details and make sure that everything else looks the same as mine especially the convert to srgb option make sure that it's checked and then hit export and choose your location and then save it wherever you want 